Where do you think the process of tie dyeing came from? Where did it begin? Is this something that came out of the 1960s in Woodstock? Actually, the Southwest is a wonderful place for preservation and tie dyeing is an ancestral Puebloan practice. Pieces of cloth dyed in a darkish blue and gray color have been found in caves and exist in museums and they are tie dye on cotton which is pretty much what we're going to do today. Hi guys, I'm Ranger Autumn here at Pipe Spring National Monument and we're going to be making a natural dye from some black beans. This is something that you can do at home fairly easily. These are just regular black beans that was purchased at a local supermarket and we've taken an old pickle jar, placed our beans in there, filled it with water and allowed it to set in the sun for about three hours. So now we are ready to make our dye and we first have to strain our beans. So you can see the color of the beans has been pulled off of it. The sun has helped do that. You can look at the beans and see that they still have some color in them. So if you want, you can put them back in your jar for later use after you do this recipe. So you will need some alum. You can also find this at your supermarket. Lots of people use alum for pickling. Generally, it's found in the spice aisle. So you just take your alum. And since this is a fairly small batch, I'm just going to fill one wooden spoon up with the alum. You have about this much. The reason why you're using the alum, it is used as a mordant. So you need something, a component, that is gonna hold the color to the fabric. This enables you to wash your item and so that the color will not leave it. And we just sprinkle it in there, stir it up, let it dissolve, And you can see the color starts to change when the alum is added. So we get this really nice, kind of like royal purple or indigo color. And you're able to take your item, 100% cotton, and today we're gonna, we're gonna dye some face masks. So we just drop them on in. And we got a bunch of them. They're all twisted up with rubber bands. What do you think they would have tied them with in Ancestral Club Low and Ties Autumn? Um, so yucca cordage yucca. Mm -hmm, definitely would have been used to tie the items up. Um, and they would have been making dye from plants in the desert. This is just a really easy way if you want to do a fun experiment at home with your family or even if you want to dye something for yourself. So you're just going to let your item soak in there and you can see that the cotton is soaking it up. So we'll just let this set for a little bit and let it get nice and soaked in. After that we'll unwrap them and then we'll be able to wash them. Now will this work with other kinds of beans like a cranberry bean or other colored beans? I have not tried other colored beans. Um, black beans are generally what I use and that's just because they hold so much color in them naturally that it helps pull it out. What do you think the ancestral Puebloans would have used um, to get that dark color? Um, items like walnuts, tree bark, leaves, certain flowers, um, plants, you can also make a nice light green dye from sage, also a rabbit brush. So we're still going to just let this soak in for a while. Alright, so 
so we've let our material soak for a little bit in our natural dye and now we are ready to rinse it. So you just take your item, whatever that is, and you want to put it in some nice cool water and just squeeze out your excess dye. Make sure the bowls that you're using, either they're disposable like this plastic one here, or it is something like a ceramic crock that you can rinse easily that will the dye will not hold to. So we are, I'm just gonna set them here in this wooden bowl and we will go through and wring them out, put them in here. We should have some really cool tie-dye masks after we finish rinsing. You can also dye wool with this, um, cotton fabrics. So you're just again rinsing that excess off. You can see now that the masks have these really great colors to them. And let's go ahead and untie one and see how our experiment worked. So you get these really cool tie-dye looking masks now that was plain white, but now you got some fun colors that was made with a plant. So you'll just allow these to dry and then you will take them and you can run them through the washing machine. The alum is what will hold the color to the 100% cotton fabric. So thanks for watching with us. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.